Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the Rizu Forest. And then we can lower that one down here, and now we're going to go in here. Run in through this way. And we'll start going around the edge of field 7 that we've gone and bought. Right, so we've got a whole load of trees here. I'm not interested in pushing too close to the trees. Like, we've got so much grass now, it doesn't really matter if we do miss some little bits. And, like, the bits on the corners, suddenly I find I no longer care quite so much about those either. I just want to be able to get this stuff being cut. So, I'll just bring you one around like that. And then I'll follow the edge of the field like this. So we'll come around the inside edge of these bushes here. We won't worry about them. And then up on this half, I own the back among the trees anyway. So that's not really going to make any difference to what we do. And now I'll come around. And I'm going to do a second run around on this. And then once I've done the second pass, I will set the hired help going in here and get that one to get started. And we will then jump down to our other tractor and start using that one. I'm not sure what other tractors I'm going to use. Like I said, I've now got a whole load of Stevie tractor options. So we'll also be taking a look at those and seeing what we can do with them. I just don't know when we'll make the swap and get Stevie tractors. The, the great advantage of some of the Stevie edits with tractors is that they are considerably more powerful. So we've got options then for doing pretty much anything that we want. Now, if I bring you to... Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to. I'll finish going around here, and I'll start this from the other side. Bring that one over there like that. here and that one will go like that and then this is pretty much a straight line like that I think is where it is so if I come over here and go there yeah that's uh, it's just I'm just making sure that we catch the edge of it down here on this side and that's got the edge of that one all right, so that one's going to carry on and go and do some mowing. I want this tractor over here. So we've got the new Holland at the moment. It's the Genesis Turbo. If I go into here, we can have a look at our tractors. At the moment, we're using the Genesis Turbo. Now, go past that lot, and then suddenly I've got uh, various different mods that we could go to. So the 7R series edited by Stevie goes up to 420. 8R, uh, 458. I'm sure he put in some extra engine options on some of the tractors, whether he did it with all of them. So that's 373, 388, 420, in fact, 305. So he hasn't done it with that one, but you can have a John Deere that is colored blue if you want to. So he's, he's like literally added in all of the color options that are in there. Um... And there's a few others in here as well. So what else has he done? Uh, we've got the class tractor in here. Five. That goes up to 500. 647 horsepower. I actually really like this tractor. This one does look pretty cool. Um, so we go to that one right there. A 647 horsepower tractor. That's quite insane. I don't know if that's his adjustments or not that is actually his adjustments because this one is 355 up to 445 and then the stevie version is goes all the way up to like 600 horsepower there by stevie and we can go all the way up here to 647 it still costs 400,000 euros to get that tractor which is not something that we have at the moment so i'm just gonna have a quick look through and see if there's anything that's cheap ish that we could maybe afford but it doesn't look like it i've got the tractor that ford tractor at the moment 
He's done that one with the massive great big wheels, which I think looks really cool. I should really like that. But these tractors here, these are too expensive. So we've got a medium tractor then. So it must be ours in here. Which tractor have we got? There's, there's a lot of tractors in the list these days. With all the Stevie edits that he's gone and added in, I'm not even sure where ours is. Thought it was in this lot. Or is it actually under large tractors? I'm looking for anything in blue. Let's see if we got anything with a blue dress on. Series 8. These are mods. More mods. Uh, oh. So ours is actually a large tractor. I just can't find it. I went right on past it, that's why. It's right here, so we've got ours just there. It's um, like 200, you know what, it would just be easier if I looked in here. Our tractor that we've got is 240 horsepower, the other one is 351. Now, I was kind of wanting to go for something a bit stronger, and we've got now, because we've got the Stevie edits in here, we've got a few extra, so it's 326,000. If I go for that case right there, it does up to 50k as well. So, like, we've we've got some additional options in here for things that are within the realms of affordability as well, which is an, another quite important feature, is us actually being able to afford to buy them. And so there's some international stuff. He's got a few John Deere's here. Well, say he has. We have got a few John Deere's, including that one, which is 190 like he's edited very much else on that that one's 233 if i was going to change it there's the valtra that we've been using in the hardcore series he's done an edit of that one if i wanted to i don't uh if i'm gonna change my tractor at all it would be i thought there was a fent one no there isn't a fent one fortunately all right, it would be to change it over to the case right here. So there's 170, uh, 276 horsepower that we can go with on that one. Uh, we've got this one, which goes to 300 and see it's 40K, but then this one here is 50, 326 horsepower. So we go here and you've got the absolute maximum, puts us 142 and it's a 326 horsepower tractor, which is absolutely phenomenal amount of power. And... We've already used this tractor for a bit. We've done some stuff with this one. So I'm quite happy to go and make this change. So I'll go and just drop this one off. This tractor right here is a 240 horsepower tractor, which is still pretty reasonable. There's, there's nothing wrong with that level of power that we've got on this one. It's just that this is a 42k box on this one, whereas the Stevie one is going to be a 50k box. And it'd be nice to have that edited in extra power. So we'll switch over. I will actually be changing my tractors quite regularly, I think. Um, so I want to sell that one right there. Yes, I do. Okay, so I now have 223,000. We'll go to medium like this. And I just got to find it. I could actually go for this one. Which does 60k. Except that's going to eat into my other money that I would have available. And I don't really want to do that. So I want to go with this one right here. We want the more expensive engine setup for 326. I don't need the GPS for this tractor. We'll have GPS on one of them, but we won't worry about it on this one. So we've got narrow twins, rear narrows, twins, front floats. <laughs> okay, we can have some giant wheels on here look at those things oh <laughs> what a beast i'm going with that i'm i'm going with that that's 11 grand for those wheels but i actually really like that configuration and then colors we can have this tractor any color that we want dark blue not purple gray no Turquoisey colour, crimson red, lemkin. I 
Okay, that's pretty cool. I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. I want Fent black on there, and then rim color, I want John Deere yellow, like that. It's a shame that the stripe down here can't be a different color. So, I mean, it's a shame like we can't change it over. Choose a color, jet black, onyx black. Yeah, that doesn't look right. We go with this. I don't want everything being bright yellow. We go with the vent black like that. That looks pretty cool. I like that. So we're going to buy that one. It's 154000 That's still... Oh, this actually cost uh, more than what the last tractor is. But... Look at this thing. It's going to look cool once we get going. Let's go and get our front weight on and... Get that one on. We've got our, our other tractor has stopped working now, so we need to bring that one back and just deal with that one a second. It's gone and done everything it needs to do down here. This one will eventually get changed to being a Stevie tractor as well. But not the moment, because I want to build another furniture factory. So we're going to go and pick up all of this. And then, I mean, we may need to wait till tomorrow before we can buy another furniture factory. But I would, I'm would i sort of thinking at Field 7, this is going to be the only time that we end up cutting Field 7. So I'm not going to worry about putting fertilizer down there. We'll just stick with fertilizer on uh, Field 7, Field 17. We'll just worry about putting furni uh, fer furniture fertilizer on the other two fields, on these two. And we won't worry about um, the the field 17 getting any fertilizer or anything because I'm hoping that by the time we come round to the spring, we will have reached the position where we want to be doing all of our. Right, I kind of want that at a 45 degree angle, which is going to be about over there. Um, we'll have built like five or six saw uh, furniture factories down there, and I feel that that is definitely something that we want to be doing right you're actually going to need to move over this way a little bit i think in order to be able to properly do that so if i go like that it's actually going on a slightly different angle than it was before as well but that's fine you can do that and you will back up oh look at this tractor beautiful <laughs> oh yeah oh this thing is amazing right let's go and get this one out and we'll go and start picking up on the long run and the other bit down the bottom and we'll come back to this field near the end it's got a beautiful amount of power to go whizzing on up through there I will start right here and we can go whizzing off down through this line and pick up everything that we can possibly pick up. It's doing this without any problem whatsoever. I do want to slow down because I, I want this to be a, a screenshot right here because that just looks wicked cool. I posed for a screenshot and now I want to just go and take this one all the way up through there. It's t it goes so fast, it's kind of difficult to just make sure everything stays focused in the right place. But, I mean, he's got a, a nice wide pickup on the, the actual pickup of the machine as well. So we don't really need to worry about it missing too much. It's not going to do that. I'm on 28,000 litres of material that I've picked up so far. So what I'll do is if I pick up this bit down this end here. And then once we've done that. So we've, we've just spun round like that. And then we'll back up here. Get that little bit that was missed just there. Like that. And we will back over this way. So I haven't got a huge amount from doing this run. I mean, there's some there. We're on 38,000 so far. But it's it's not masses of grass. So it's, it's probably not 
worth our while coming back and doing this again. We'll just stick with the field grass rather than doing this. I suppose kind of worth it, but I mean, once we've got the extra furniture factories up and running, we're really not going to need to worry about pulling in the extra grass up through here so that we, we can focus on building the town but also on building up our farm because this is a farming series and I'm aware that it would be very easy for me to slip into um, you know city building simulator rather than farming simulator I don't really want to do that I would actually like to be doing um, farming tasks as well so we will be doing the silage the silage is going to be a regular thing and we're going to start building towards having some animals which means that we're going to need to start clearing a few more trees back that sort of thing um just so that we've got the space for it all so once we've filled up actually we won't be filling up the trailer from this field i need to keep an eye on the other tractor just on our little thing up in the top left hand corner and as soon as he says that he's finished doing the mowing we can switch over to that tractor and move it on up to the other field so that we can uh that one can be cut and then that's all of the mowing done i, th I mean i think we've done pretty well i, th I think we've done a, a decent reasonable job with keeping all of this moving and i did say before that i kind of didn't want to go with stupid mods in this series that are, are really game break like uh, that you know a lot of people would consider game breaking increased speeds and increased capacities i don't consider that to be game breaking it's something that i use quite often when i well i don't actually do very much solo play anymore like I, well i don't actually do any solo play in this game anymore because I like to sort of stay focused but whenever I was doing solo play I would use mods like this it would increase the speed of the task but not change the task so although we've got an increased trailer on this one we've got increased trailer capacity I'm not doing something like instantly turning all of the silage into um uh, turning all of the grass into silage anything like that i am still cutting the grass um we're having to row it up although we don't need to row it up with this particular set of mowers which is fortunate um and then i'm having to go and collect it and move it it's just i'm having to travel backwards and forwards less frequently than i would be if i was doing it with much smaller scale equipment and i actually prefer to play like that when i was playing solo just because i still get the experience of doing the farming and uh, uh, doing the mowing and so on but it just goes through the tasks a little bit faster because if you've got a small farm everything is tickety-boo everything is wonderful if you've got a small farm if you start to expand your farm very much if you start to grow your farm at all in this game i noticed that especially if i'm doing um like a bigger job if i'm you know wanting to do silage and stuff like that and i'm using say a forage wagon if i've got a slightly bigger farm i'm covering a lot more ground than i would have been previously a huge amount of extra ground than i would have been previously and it really does seem to make a difference to the enjoyment of it. And I know that some of you do really like the the sort of the challenge of going backwards and forwards um, with standard sized machines. But I would get a bit fed up with that because I'd be spending too long on one task for my personal enjoyment. So what I would end up doing is I would end up sort of losing interest in the game, and I. You know, I don't really want to do that. So what I decided to start doing was just using the, the faster ones with large capacity. So I'm doing silage. And I still experience doing the silage. But I've I'm done the mowing. I've gotten through it much faster. And then I'm able to move on to the next task that I want to do as well. 
without having to spend, you know, a whole week of my um, my time doing just one silage harvest. And it would actually get like that because, you know, I don't actually have all that much time for playing a game in my own time. I play games for a living. I do them, like, all the time. And then... So the actual time that I spend playing games just for me without recording them and without doing anything with them other than just playing the game for the sheer luxurious enjoyment of playing the game is surprisingly limited. I, I really am limited on the amount of time that I get to spend doing that. And so I wouldn't... Right, you know what? That definitely needs to be moved over a bit. We'll go over a full mower's width on that one, like that, there, and we'll drop that down. And then he'll drop the back mower down. Let me see if I was actually right on this. How much is he going to get? Yeah, I I was right on that. Full mower's width to be able to do all of that. Okay, that's fine. You can carry on there. And then we can go down onto here. So, yeah, I would like... I speed it up like this. I'm still getting to do it. It's, yeah, it's, it's definitely different to how you would normally do things. But I still enjoy doing it. I, I get to drive the machinery and I get to um, do the tasks. It's just that I get through the tasks a little bit faster than I otherwise would. And that's something that I actually like. You know, if I decide, oh, actually, I don't necessarily want to do this all at breakneck speed, I can just change over the forager or I can, you know, adjust the work speed down. Um, I can just have that along and then I can alter the um, cruise control speed down so that I'm not whizzing along at 90 miles an hour. I'm whizzing along at a more sedate, you know, 12 miles an hour. And I would occasionally do that as well, but usually not. Usually I would stay going like this. Because one thing that I really do like doing with this game is building up to a larger scale. And the thing that puts me off doing that so frequently is how long it takes like uh, you start building up to a larger scale but then each task takes so long it kind of puts me off of wanting to continue on with that particular playthrough that i've got at the time um and just makes me want to stop that playthrough and then go and start again because i get a lot more variety by doing this i'm able to push on through and go to ever larger quantities you know we, we can pull out the the bigger and bigger machinery and instead of me having to spend hours and hours hunting out mods and then altering them ever so slightly in order to have the mods how i want which is what i had to do back in 13 and 15 we now have stevie stevie who has been sent to us by divine intervention who likes to play the game the same way that I like to play the game, he wants all options available so that gameplay can be tweaked to however you see fit. If you choose to go and play the game in one particular way, you can go and play the game in that particular way. You don't have to go and feel guilty about it. You don't have to have anyone or anything telling you no you can't because you know it doesn't work like that or anything along those lines you literally just play the game however you want and this is what i have always dreamed of it is amazing so i've got all of the machines i don't have to think all oh, right i need a forage wagon and then go and spend ages altering and adjusting a forage wagon so that it is gonna work just fine and then i'm stuck with that one forage wagon is the only one that i can have from that point on for the rest of my gameplay because I can't be bothered to go and edit another one. Mr. Stevie goes and edits all of them and gives you all kinds of options. So if I want to change up my forage wagon at any point and I fancy a different color on it, I can go and do that. I don't have the modding skills to be able to go and modify a mod in order to add in extra color options that is not something i know how to do it is not something i would even be able to attempt 
Right, I definitely missed a bit on that outside round when I was dodging the tractor up there. I'll go and tidy that up in a second. Let's just go and get this. And that tractor up there is finished. So I'll tell you what, let's go to that tractor a minute. And we will first of all <laughs> do that. Because that is a thing of beauty. And then I'll dump that down and I will do that. And now we will drive back our beautiful clean machines. We'll fold them up as we go. I need to start putting fertilizer, except that, well, I've still got the grass on the, the field. Hmm. I think we could probably put the fertilizer on anyway. I'll do that while I'm emptying out. We'll, we'll, change, we'll change this over while I'm emptying out the uh, forage wagon, because that with the full forage wagon load, that actually takes a minute. So I'll just bring you over to there and stop you. And we go to you. I don't think I'm going to be able to pick up all of the next field as well. We may not even be able to pick up all of this field into our forage wagon, which does surprise me. I didn't think that we would end up running out of space. I do like that we've got this case tractor. It's a, a smaller, older machine, and this is the most powerful tractor we've had on any series for quite some time, I think. What do we have in... Well, I actually know, because um, the, the, the Elm Creek one that we were messing around with, we were a lot more messy around with on that one, and so we did have some fairly powerful tractors, but although I don't know if we did actually get quite as powerful as this. I suppose, yeah, we must have done. This one's like 320 horsepower, and we had the really big stuff on the Elm Creek one. So, yeah, all right, ignore that. We we did have more powerful tractors on that one. We just didn't have a tractor this powerful from the, the medium range of tractors. I dread to think what the really big stuff is going to be like. I haven't even looked at that yet. I suspect we're looking at 1,000 horsepower plus. Now, oh, well, I don't think we're going to fit it all in here. I've only got 16,000 litres left of space in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, that is... 230. Oh, okay. 4,000 litres there. And then this one is just a partial bit. Very nearly almost a completely full trailer load. And that is every bit of grass picked up. Apart from this little bit over here. There we go. Right, so I will take this down to the farm. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.